I'm strongly convinced that arts, cinema and stuff can help scientists to spread their message in the world. At that time when the truth can be discussed, when the truth can be arranged, I think science is the best way to go on the rational aspect of the world. Now we need to understand the world because we need to go in the future and we need to plan. And of course, we need to plan on objective facts. And for me, this is really crucial. I feel now a lot of scientists very depressed because they are working out to, to produce knowledge, to produce papers, to produce science results. And it seems that nobody wants to hear them political people and the society. And for me, this is absolutely important, maybe to make the bridge between science and the wide public, because the problem is maybe scientific use to talk together with their own language. And for me, the most important is to help people to understand the science language. For me, it's very important to start from the science to tell story, to explain the world. And for me, the cinema is the language of emotion. And emotion is probably the most universal language. And maybe it's the best way to avoid the scientific complexity, the scientific language to go through the earth of the people. Because now I think we don't need rational fact. I would say all of the people now in the world knows that there is something wrong in the world and we, are, we need to do something for our future. Now we have to find the keys to open this kind of doors to help people to engage themselves in the future. The poles are very special in the planets because if we are talking about the South Pole, this is the only place in the world which was not colonized by humans. It means it is still resistant to human presence. North Pole is something different because this is basically ocean. This is not a continent, as you know. For me, because these places in the world do not belong really to someone, maybe we can find like a universal tribune to talk to the world at that point.